A few videos ago, I talked about how my Christmas crib also could be an inspiration for a little cottage for children to play with. And the idea actually got stuck in my head and here I am two months later making a stable for my daughter's mix of Lego and Playmobil. If you know me a little bit, you know I only use scrap wood and leftovers, but that's just me. However, this stable therefore cost me nothing, zero money. And if you don't count the time for the glue and paint to dry, it only took a couple of hours to make this cottage or oh, stable. I have some of these sticks left from when we renovated our camping car and they are going to be the walls. So I try to find the right depth and size for this table. I use as usual the thin wood from the back of an old furniture for the floor. It has a nice natural texture for an outdoor floor. I have two sticks which are made of some more beautiful wood and the edges are all rounded. So I'll put them in the front here to cover up all the other sticks. All the rest of the wood is covers from wine boxes. I use the floor as a template for the ceiling so they have the exact same size. I glued the stick together with wood glue and let them dry overnight. I first thought it was a good idea to make the ceiling less wide so there was a good space for the hand to play but I'm actually changing that later on. I want to give it a more warm colored tone, but don't have any leftovers of wood stain. So I mixed a transparent, Varnish I have with just some paint from my daughter's stuff and tested it on a piece of wood to see the color And I'm pretty happy about how it turned out and we gave it two coats The roof is always the more tricky part but I fixed the stick in the middle to find the more or less right length for the two pieces for the roof. And then we used this angle tool to cut the right angle for two sticks. We first glued them together and then fixed them on the roof to simply hold the two roof pieces together. To close the gap on the top, we glued a sushi stick. It can be difficult to cut the sticks in the exact same size, at least for me, so I filled out the gap with some wood filler. And I also closed the ceiling as I talked about in the beginning of the video. I dried some high grass that we have outside the house to make some kind of small hay stacks.
I'm going to make a mini copy of the bench that I made for our garden. I'm using some of the wine covers and the thin wood and then just some branches from the garden. a wedding last summer and on the tables there was these small slices of wood with our names on. They will now become small tables for the Playmobil village. We are using some plastic caps as water buckets for the horses. They have a good shape because they are a little bit more narrow and higher than the classic plastic caps. I'm looking in my bag with leftovers of screws and stuff and found a hinge, a little hook and three pins normally for a memory board. I also found these stones in the garden. They are free and just outside my door, so why not use them? My daughter has this little wood box that I used to contain some vegetables for her kitchen. We cut some extra dried grass and it's going to be a little space for the rabbits. I must try to figure it out alone. Yeah, I must try to figure it out. And finally I want to paint some flowers on the stable and as usual I tried it out on some paper first. I'm making some really simple shapes to make sure that it would be easy enough for me to make. I'm using a tooth stick and a q-tip to make the flowers and a green marker for the thin flower stem. I personally love the result and best of all, my daughter is happy.